Always something. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be. In time and space, my fellow flight simulator enthusiasts. Kenny is here. Yeah, Happy New Year. Happy 2024. I can't even believe it. I thought we would have flying cars by now. I really did. So I wanted to start another cross country today. All right, so I wanted to start another cross country today, and we've gone east and we've gone west. I haven't really done north or south yet. And I figured uh, it's kind of cold here, wintry here. So why don't we go ahead and do a cross country south? In, uh, I went ahead and set some things up and tested everything out before I got going too far. I didn't want to waste too much of your time. So I got an Anil Fly and I re rented. Come down here and you rent your planes. Yeah, here you go. So set us up with a caravan again, and it cost uh dun, 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 dun. it's like two thousand dollars a day. Two thousand dollars a a day for renting. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollar deposit. Two hundred and sixty thousand dollar deposit. Somewhere in there. Yeah, for that one, it's... Could have got that one. Either way, very expensive. But I got us back into the Cessna uh, caravan. And I have us a job already set up to go. We're heading to... ADHP. If you want to fly along and plan this in your GPS, it's going to be from KFLY... KFLY to... K D H T Elo Delta Hotel Tango. Elo Delta Hotel Tango. All right. Let me hear. Like to... I've got Bush Talk Radio set up. So as we're traveling south, if we trigger any of these, uh, if there's any uh, sightseeing stuff to see the bush talk will trigger and give us an audio tour of whatever we're flying over so that's active in the background the pretzel app isn't working properly I'm streaming it from uh, the site so I can't display the art uh, the music information or the uh, album art at the moment that's no fun Got us all set up with the GPS here. I'm having a problem I'm launching cold and dark from the runway. The brakes don't want to release, or it doesn't want to move. So I'm having to start and do all this from the runway. I've got uh, the flight plan already set up in here. We'll be going from, uh, again, K-Fly. In Sky Vector, I added a couple more points. Oh, 
Alright, so I'm trying to avoid people's airspace. As we take off from Colorado Springs here. I'm trying to avoid Colorado Springs, the municipal airport uh, airspace. So I'm going to be heading out to this waypoint here, Chiba. From Chiba, we'll be turning south. And our next waypoint is going to be... That's just a dead space. All right, so if you want to fly it exactly the same way that I'm flying, this is the route right here. Let's see if I can make this any bigger on your screen here. So, let me type that in the chat. in the wrong chat. All right, I have the new chat popped up. Sorry, I was in the wrong chat. K-F-O-Y. Alright, so in the chat room there is the the route there from K Fly to Chiba to Zaro, Orway, Roni, and then our destinate KDHT, and it's probably gonna be a runway 35 landing. If if the winds are right. I got this right here and I'm reading the right map. But winds change, so we'll see when we get there. Looks like we got our German friends flying with us today. Like they're gonna bet there's supposed to be an F 18s I don't know why it's not showing them in the right aircraft. Definitely shouldn't be showing them in, as that. All right, I've already got us set up with a job. That is going to take us to again KDHT. All right. Hopefully we have enough fuel set now. Uh, I needed to check check the weight and balance. We need to have 2,520. We'll get $25,000 for this job. Between uh, 25, 20. Pounds. All right, let me check one more screen here and we're on our way. Payload 2690 here. Let's get that changed. Damn, we're heavy. All right, so we got our payload matching now. And we're ready to go. 
So that's done. And yep, and we're off. What's up, my altitude? I'm going to take us to like at least 10,000 feet. There, there's 10,000 feet set. Our first turn after we take off from the runway, we have to head out east, head towards the waypoint Chiba. So I'll be making a left hand turn as soon as we. Get a little altitude up off the runway. Here we go. Good flying, captains. Good flying. We're going to uh, be getting leg one of our cross country south. And we're just going to be flying from job to job. So. Goodbye, Colorado. We'll see you in a while. Be back in a couple of days. I thank you very much. All right. Start turning to the east. have the damper open let's get our proper lights on don't need taxi on that's good 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 all right I'm gonna go ahead and kick on the autopilot put it on nav And do a flight level change. Clicked on the uh, a direct to Chiba. So now we are set for that waypoint and climbing to 10,000 feet. And I don't know that we need to contact any air traffic control at the moment, but let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do our request in IFR for instrument flight plan. Looking good, fellas. Or walk six four seven four.
only problem with that big plane there is that we're hearing it all. It's such a loud plane that it's drowning out the music. Perhaps you should switch to Cessna Caravan. Uh, the only thing I can do is turn down my simulator noise all the way and just turn off the simulator altogether. It's too much noise. All right. Heading south, folks. Gonna try to make 25 grand. Everything in the uh, Neofly is super expensive. So again, to get this plane, to re-rent it, was uh, 170000 And the deposit was 260000 No, no, no. My bad. My bad. It's basically about 2000 a day to rent. And I don't know if they charge you the flight hours. I don't think so. I don't know. Either way, it's expensive. And then 260 for a deposit. But it doesn't sound so bad when a, sh a, a hop like this will earn us 25,000. Okay, so we have some nice wind towers as we uh, are heading east from Colorado Springs. I'm still very pro all sources of energy. I know everybody's like, they're, they're stupid, man. They're not worth it. I get it. I understand all points of view. I, I like technology. So, I mean... I would at least rather have them as an option than not having them. Not saying they're the, the solution to anything. But. Again, I hope you had a great, a great new year. Oh, nobody got arrested. I kind of wanted to not get arrested. I mean, well, now let me just start over with all that. I'm already gone sideways with that. I was hoping it was going to be such a raucous time and an amazing party that there's a possibility somebody could get arrested. That's a good party. Kinda. Anyway, I was hoping for kind of one of those, and it wasn't one of those at all. It was the exact opposite of one of those. There's a bunch of people sitting around talking about how they used to party. And playing Rummy. A card game, Rummy. My speed is... 127 knots. 
one, two, seven K. We're at 10,000 feet. We are at 10,000 feet. Autopilot's engaged. We're on GPS, and now we're making our next turn to from Chiba to Azaro. I love automation. When it works, it works. In fact, we're avoiding some weather coming in. Flying into clear clear skies as far as I can tell. Nothing showing up out here yet. But anyway, we're, we've made, now made our turn from Chiba. Going to Azaro. Ah, yeah. There you are in the... Uh, the Baron, lovely plane. I like it. Oh, look at that! There we go. Both you guys are there. Oh. And we lost one. Twilight Zone. If you could put it on live weather, and I, we're grouped up, and since I grouped with you and didn't create the group. I can't control the weather, so if you could set it to live weather, that would be nice. If this is live, then fine. Live weather, live time. Yeah, seems a little bit more like Kansas. You would like to join us? In the chat room, uh, I will display my username, but uh, if you don't want to look in the chat room, Kinneas2020, K-I-N-N-E-A-S, 2020. K -I -N -N -E -A -S 2020. And if you add us in, add me in, then you can... Uh, Or come in the chat room and give us your screen name. We can add you into the flight group if you want to join. TBM 930. TBM is a lovely aircraft. That is an amazing airplane. It's a turboprop. And it's got a powerful, powerful engine that allows you to just. Well, I'm like almost what 400 500 knots in that thing thank you for informing me that I still have flaps wasn't paying attention and yeah didn't want to mess my 
laps uh, on takeoff. Yep. So let's get our flaps turned off here. Well, they put them in this thing. I've got it hooked to a button. I don't want to make it easy on myself. I want to actually find the damn flaps. I should know where everything is in this plane by now. Careful now, we don't want any problems like they're having in Japan right now. Man, did you see that? It was a... Uh, they called it a mid-air collision, but it happened right at the runway. Uh, in Japan, there was a commercial airliner that crashed with a Coast Guard aircraft. I believe all the passengers on the commercial flight, 400, over 400 people, they were all okay. But I've heard that all of the crew members of the Coast Guard aircraft have died. And that's tragic. It's horrible. But they're dealing with so many emergencies right now. You, you you might ask yourself, how in the world? How in the world could someplace like Tokyo or as advanced as Japan have any sort of collision like that? We're being asked to climb to 15,000 feet. So let's get back in our cockpit here. And they're dealing with so many emergencies right now. Maybe let's go to our autopilot deck up here. Turn the auto uh, alt select dial and keep an eye over here on the screen. Go up to 15. Looks like we're making another turn now onto our next waypoint. All right, there's 15,000 and we'll hit flight level change on our autopilot console. And now that'll start taking us up to 15,000 feet. Yep, yeah, we're making a turn to Orway now. It says Azaro to Orway, distance 13. Point two miles, one hundred and fifty four knots, and we're not climbing. 
light level change is set, but we're not climbing. We're at full throttle. So there's a if if, if unless it changes its mind, it's at the moment not in, too keen on climbing. So what you can do if you're not climbing, you can come over here to your autopilot console and turn on vertical speed and rotate this dial down to lift the nose and you'll see now on this screen here we have a vertical speed indicator at 2,000 feet per minute up the more we spin this dial down the nose will raise another 100 feet per minute there's 300 feet for 500 feet per minute I'm gonna take it to 900 feet per minute and make the plane climb keep an eye on your airspeed you don't want it going too 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 low if you find that it is rotate the knob the other way decreasing vertical speed but they wanted me to expedite and that means would you hurry your butt up to 15,000 feet so this is my uh, hurrying my butt up to 15,000 feet. I could probably go more, but we're getting down into flap range territory. There's anywhere in the white here. We're heavy, heavy, so the plane isn't going to be... We're moving like a cow right now. We are almost max payload. So trying to get this thing to be a beast right now? Nah. Try to put in more propeller for more RPM. That's... Uh, we don't want to do that. There's no manual mixture on this thing. Uh, we lost a lot of speed there. Sorry about that screw up. Tragic, tragic in Japan. 31 minutes after the hour, you're watching Kenny as the Sky Dude and friends from Germany. We've, uh, Sky Dude and friends. We're all Sky Dudes. I'm not a unique. And now, now you're, you're being a little crazy there, Captain. No collisions. Let's try to be a little bit professional. No collisions. Got the Baron down there. You'd like to fly with us? We're heading south from Colorado. We're going to do a cross country over the next couple of days. I don't know. Let's head down to Mexico, right? Let's go get into some trouble in Mexico. My idea, my idea, let's go down to Mexico and get into some trouble is maybe eating a bad taco. Or maybe not even a bad one, just some really spicy stuff that we've never tried before. That's my, that's the extent of any trouble or danger that I would want going to Mexico. So, so that's the plan at the moment. We're going to Mexico. We're going to search out some, uh, some good Mexican food, authentic Mexican food. And we're going to try not to blow up our insides. Getting a little too close for comfort there. You can maintain it fine, but no collisions. Let's try to try to make sure our viewers know that we're trying to be as professional as we can be.
XJet 244. Oh, that's we're listening. That's Denver. All right, how are we doing on our climb and on our speed? We're at 14,002, and we're yeah, we're we're okay. Still decreasing speed, but we're almost there. Yeah, we don't want our we don't want the viewers to tune in and say these guys are just a bunch of jockeys. They're them just goofing off. Flying all over the place like yahoos. What are they, Americans? Thought you said those guys were German. So some nice snaking little rivers down there. For the most, most part, it's going to be... It'll, it'll get greener the more south we go, but right now, kind of winter time here in the Midwest. Looks like we're almost there in our climb. 15,000 feet. Good. We're going to start building up speed again. Alright, we're on to our next waypoint. Veroni 59.8. 59.6 nautical miles, bearing 149. 15,000 feet. And building back up our speed. I saw some photographs of a I don't know what it was a Learjet or somebody's private plane but they had the exact same idea as me they didn't have seats they had couches so I'm always talking about how in this plane if I had one of these I'd want to modify the interior or at least have a couple interior design options I would want couches. Yeah, so they have couches, and I'm sure there was a bar and everything else in there. But yeah, I'd want a bar and a little, a little cooktop back there, and a little emergency bathroom device. You had to. But I would really want it to be much more luxurious. Some festive colors. So far, we haven't triggered anything from Bush Talk Radio. Bring that over to this screen here. See where we're at. I don't know. Did it not get our location? We're there. That's not us. That's not right. Player, follow player is on.
That's not right. We're already way way down here somewhere. Hmm. Let me try to log out and log back in. password you didn't see that okay all right let's now see if it found us yeah that's better So we're still in Colorado, but we're right on the we're in the edge of Kansas over here. Comanche, yeah, we haven't um, we just missed that one. What was that? Pause that for a minute here. So we just missed, uh, we've just passed it, but it was Lake Meredith. So this is what Bush Talk Radio does. If we pass right over or very near a point of interest, this is what it will do. Lake Meredith is a lake in Crowley County, Colorado, just south of Sugar City. Sources differ on its name, with some calling it Lake Meredith, Lake Meredith Reservoir, or Meredith Reservoir. The lake is shallow, so the constant winds in the area make it turbid. The average depth is six feet. The lake is popular among jet skiers. Camping at the lake is free, but amenities are limited. The nearby town of Sugar City has a population of 279, and is so named for the fact it once was a sugar manufacturing center. All right, so yeah, that's Bush Talk Radio, and it's set to auto, um, so when we, um, if we pass any of these markers, like this is coming up here, coming up ahead of us is, it looks like it's just, oh, there, there it goes, being touchy. Black Mesa? Wow, isn't that a, where bad things and spooky things happen? Black Mesa. Is a mesa in the United States. Let's see what it says here. That's it. Black Mesa is a mesa in the U.S. states of Colorado, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. It extends from Mesa de Maya, Colorado, southeasterly 28 miles along the north bank of the Cimarron River, crossing the northeast corner of New Mexico to end at the confluence of the Cimarron River and Carrizo Creek near Kenton in the Oklahoma Panhandle. Its highest elevation is 5,705 feet in Colorado. The highest point of Black Mesa within New Mexico is 5,239 feet. In northwestern Cimarron County, Oklahoma, Black Mesa reaches 4,973 feet, the highest point in the state of Oklahoma. The plateau that formed at the top of the mesa has been known as a geological wonder of North America. There is abundant wildlife in this short grass prairie environment, including mountain lions, butterflies, and the Texas horned lizard. Uh, I am, uh, da, 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 da. I am going 143 knots. And now they want me to climb to 6,000 feet. Okay. So back over here to our altitude select knob, rotate that up, Let's get six dialed in, 
16,000 feet and hit the flight level change FLC button on our console. And that should incline the nose to start. Uh, again, I don't know. Maybe because we're so heavy. There it goes. It's, it's trying to go up. See, it'll turn to like 100 feet per minute. But maybe because we're so heavy, I'm not really sure. There it goes. 100 feet. Oh, no, it doesn't want to do it. So if it does, it, if, if it's doing this, go over to your vertical speed. Punch vertical speed. Tip the nose up one or two. Um, did you just hit me? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Maybe we just caught a wind gust. But the plane just rocked there. All right, so now we're going up 400 feet per minute. And we're forcing it to climb. Get back to our music over here. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm lagging a little bit. Yeah. The internet isn't perfect yet. Still, 2024. We're still having silly little things like lag. Come on, 2024. Got no time to mess around. Just tuning in, Kenny is the Sky Dude and friends. We are cross country south from Colorado Springs. And we're getting Neofly jobs along the way. Our first uh, stop here should give us twenty five about twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, I really, re I guess the best thing I can do is recommend using the autopilot. Don't try to be flying it by hand. Got to get into caravan mode. But I can't tell anybody how to fly. I know it's using the autopilot is terribly boring to some people. Well, I'd never tell you how to fly, but that could help. Is it too early in the day for whiskey? That is the question. Is it too early in the day? Well, for you guys, I guess it's late. Oh, are we already out nearing our airport? We are. I need to load our approach. All right, our approach is activated. So we should be going to where new for runway 35. And we're following this coming over to Sky Vector. We 
we fall we miss in here so we need to be at 6,000 feet for we're new so we are 28 miles Pause that for a moment. So we're 28 miles away, 27, 42, something in there. And we need to come down to 6,000 feet now uh, to meet our waypoint at Weir New. So up here to our console, and uh, we will dial this down. And where my eye is, it's over here. For altitude. So dialing this back down to 6,000 feet. Now, when I induce a flight, when I click the flight level change button, uh, and this is usually for most aircraft, is that if you're going full throttle and your throttle's all the way open, it will not descend. Right? So if I, I've got it at 6,000 feet now, and I click the flight level change, right? But I've got the throttle full open. The plane will not descend. All right. So let me pull back to, you know, cruising speeds or about 50% throttle. And now you'll see that the plane, without me touching anything else, the plane is now descending. Right. Just keep an eye on your throttle again, your power management. As soon as you get down to six, remember to bring it back up a little bit. And yeah, and we are on course. So once we land, uh, we will find another job. See if we can make about 50 grand today or more. And we'll head on to the next waypoint heading south. Wherever it, wherever it takes us, you know. Uh, I don't want to plan it all the way out. But the goal now is let's get to Mexico and have some uh, fun in Mexico eating Mexican food. So that's kind of the goal now. We're heading to, we're going to Mexico. And just taking any job that takes us south to you try to get there. Do, 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 do. We're new. 68 miles. Wedding Cake Ranch. That's cute. That makes no sense. I don't understand how that's even possible. is that the simulator got toggled to a faster speed somehow uh, but I you know I don't think I hit anything but that's the only thing I think is that is that the simulator got toggled to a faster speed for it to be showing me at 250 knots And there's no readout or display anywhere that shows how fast you're going or how fast the simulator is running. So I've just 
pulled the simulator to go slow, slow. So all I can do now is try to have you fly it. Uh, let's see, what are we doing? Get back in there. We're still descending. I'm at 135 knots. Descending down to 6,000 feet. And I've slowed, I've told the simulator to slow down. So, what does that tell you now? I see it coming up behind me. Slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. Right there. Just passed. Now it's like I'm slower than 90 knots. Okay, let me bring it up a little bit. Get back to the simulator. All right, I've, I've sped it up by one notch, whatever that is, one button press. I'm doing 136 knots. Still coming down. Getting some pretty high winds. Now it seems good. Well, that's interesting. What a problem. It's always something, but hey, cool. I'm glad I thought about that. Like, boy, we are making really good time, but... Hmm. The wind maps were showing quite a bit of wind. Get into the uh, see if we can contact an air traffic control around here. It's hard to get me friends. This is a Credence Clearwater tune. We're gonna get in trouble for this one. Why would let the midnight special read back correct radar contact altimeter three zero one one climb and maintain thirteen thousand? Nah, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not do that. But I will check my altimeter three zero one one. Man, we're getting some bouncy winds. Expect vectors to visual runway 35 approach is exactly what we want. All right. Almost to 6,000 feet. All right, 6,000 feet, put the throttle back in.
A lot of high turbulence down here. I let the midnight special shine its ever loving light on me. Isn't that the way the tune goes? Alrighty, you're gonna escort and then fly around for your landing. All right. so weird when you see things like that all over the ground. They look like little meteor strikes everywhere. Everywhere you look, you'll eventually see something that looks like a little meteor strike everywhere on the ground. Always these little tendrils shooting out. Forty-two miles. And if you look at our speed indicator, we're bouncing all over the place. Look at the GPS. Just the screens in general. Now they're doing amazing race. It better be in the public domain. Like Mickey Mouse. Steamboat Willie. If you'd like to join and head to Mexico with us. I don't know how far we're going to get today on this first leg, but we're heading south to Mexico to find and explore brave new foods that we've never eaten. You know, in a, in, in a role-playing kind of way. And um, if you'd like to join along and fly in, get yourself seen on live stream, then Get your name into the chat room so we can get all grouped up and you can fly along. You're getting the turbulence too. Good. I'm glad it's not just, you know, my computer freaking out. Nice, peaceful surroundings. Kansas is very pretty. This farmland is very pretty. I am doing 140 knots. Thank you. 
的吗？ So many days I've been here, the magic sticks and their stones. Every season you're on the road. Looks like we're experiencing some turbulence in the metaverse as well. Twenty-eight miles. Playing some good music today. Despite their player having problems, their player wouldn't let me log in today. It says your、uh, browser is not compatible, so I tried using Google.、It、says your browser is not compatible. There's a something wrong with their player at the moment. So good thing is we can still play the music through their website service. Opens up a mini player, but can't display the album art. Or title information. Bush talks got anything on where we're headed? Bush dog. There we are. Let's see what Wikipedia says about Dal Hart. Need a new window.、Way. Got windows everywhere open. Dal Hart. Dal Hart, Texas. So we're we're in Texas already. I guess. Is there a dollar at Kansas? Dollar at Kansas. 
Dalhart Corporation. No, that's Texas. They've got a five-star hotel. Where we're going? In Dalhart there. So we're going into northwest Texas. So this area over here to our right is Dalhart. Everything out there says Miller. She stole my heart for good in a moment. My poor soul the city, the city has a total area of 4.8 square miles. Sits on the southern Great Plains is heavily impacted by its agricultural industry, as we see down below. Fourteen miles to our first waypoint. So it looks like we're going to be entering this curve here, or doing a direct turn to Jocto. We'll see if it flies this loop. There's the airport over there. I wish we had binoculars. I would really love a better zoom. Remember the old Microsoft Flight Simulator binoculars? You could see the Mars, man. Those things didn't have a stop. You could just keep zooming in and zooming in and zooming in. I was very disappointed that Microsoft Flight Simulator didn't have a super zoom, binocular zoom. Like, we'll use the drone camera. That's not, that's, I can't use a drone in the real world, man. I need binoculars. Three minutes to we're new. Report runway in sight. Yeah, they set fire to our town. I have the runway in sight. Throw rocks and bricks at cops. Yeah, seven miles. Beat them down. Attack innocent people. Turn left heading zero three zero. Nobody says a word. I'm letting the GPS, the autopilot handle it. Nobody says a word. I could go. Three zero. Nah, I'm gonna let the see if the GPS uh, autopilot does it right. See what it does. Four point seven miles. You 
See, we've got these politicians, forget what they are there for. Voted for by the people. All right, what you gonna do, Plane? What are you gonna do? You're gonna make the curve, or are you gonna just do a turn? Looks like it's gonna do the loop. Yeah, we're doing the loop. All right, let's just get down to flap speed. So bring back the propeller. All right. Almost at flap speed. There we go, making our turn. Now I can safely Put in 10 degree flaps. As you put in flaps, make sure you keep an eye on your speed. And we are coming out of our turn here, and we are on the straight. We are on our final. Okay. Bring the speed down a little bit more. Down to the 80s. We're lined up for runway 35. There's 80 knots. 10 degree flaps. Let me go and turn off alt hold.
Gaz Man. The touchdown, I should have brought that up earlier. The touchdown zone. Three So I'll do a flight level change here, set it to 4,000 feet, have it start coming down a little, little bit. I'm at your stall speed. I am going 74 knots. I'm getting ready to do a. Uh, we've got 10 degree flaps. I'm getting ready to do full, full flaps here in a minute. Get a little bit closer. Speed for you is seventy five to eighty. Three hundred feet per minute descent using vertical speed. Starting to speed up. feet per minute.
All right, 20% flaps. Keep an eye on our power, don't want to get too low. Go to 500 feet per minute. 500 feet per minute. Sixty-nine knots. Right on final here, sixty five knots. All right, let's go full flaps. Turn off the autopilot. Some of this stuff out of the way and get my joystick center here. Sorry about that. Put it on my power. The crosswind. I need to make the joystick a little bit more non-sensitive. So sensitive. That's pretty close to the center line, pilot. Nice job. Taxi to parking, please. All right. Welcome Taxi to Dollhart, Texas. I've never been here. I'm welcoming myself for the first time. I think to Dollhart. Do now I can get an ATIS. Turn this off for a minute. Two. I'll run away here for a minute. Turn up the audio so we can hear the ATIS. Altimeter two nine nine or two. Two nine nine two. I didn't catch the winds. Wind to calm. No. Wind is not calm. But we'll bring this back down to 2992. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Um, 
I can keep us going to parking or a way to fast track things here in Neofly is pull your pull your prop all the way down and turn your and pull your conditioner down. It'll slow the propeller down and eventually stop it. If you're fast enough, you can get a job and then get going right away without having to restart the engine, just spool it back up real fast. But once it slows down, we should get an, an audible now from Neofly. Yep. Cargo unloading in progress. Stand by, pilot. All right. So we're going to make twenty-five thousand seven hundred thirty-five. And we are almost out of fuel we really pushed that one well i mean it doesn't look so scary in here uh but over here in we're at six, 64 the pounds has been delivered nice work have a nice day okay so we've been we're getting paid right now let's go so we're back up to nine million nine hundred forty one thousand nine hundred fourteen okay so now we need to um, refuel from Neofly because I believe it's synced. We don't want to put in too much so we can carry more. That's going to cost us a thousand bucks for fuel. All right, so we're fueled. Now let's try to find another job out of here right quick. That takes us south from Dalhart here. That one's more east than I want. Come on, baby, give us one that's just shooting down towards Mexico. That one's good. That one's good. Where's it going? It's going to Denver City. Denver and Texas? That's preposterous. Alright, but sure enough, a Denver City airport in Texas. You guys couldn't come up with a more original name than that? And it looks like we can take it. 184 miles, we'll get paid 23,000. We're going to need 2,000, at least 2,318 pounds of cargo. So we might have to finagle our weights there. Good morning, pilot. Ready for your cargo mission? Yes, we are. Transporter from dispatch. Loading cargo. Please stand by. All right. So the new destination, E-57. And right at the moment, I'll just do a direct to. E-57. Denver City, Texas. Enter, enter. And we're set in the GPS. And now we need to come back up to our weights. Pardon the beeping. Transporter. Cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on. Wait. We need at least... Two, three, one, eight. And uh, we're at, yeah, two. There's two, two, three, one, nine. All right, and we verify that up in here. We might need a little bit more, a little bit less in this thing. It's another addition to Neofly. Sky for Sims. And you can verify your Neofly career job in here. See here, it's different. You're saying we need to be 2,488. So follow this one instead. There's 2,510 and we'll get a plus 22 payout bonus. And we don't have to reduce any fuel for this. But damn, are we heavy. 
Okay. All right. So now that that's all plugged in, if I can, uh, if the plane hasn't totally stopped, then what you can do is just quickly come back down here, put the prop all the way back up again, get the conditioner up. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. And the plane will just spool up again without having to restart. Now we can select the runway. Uh, we'll announce clear. Kilo Delta Hotel Tango traffic. And now we can immediately take off and start heading towards our next point. Wrong way, Captain. Wrong way. Let's use runway 17. And announce our taxi. Look out! Coming through! I kind of miss uh, <laughs> Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Usually places that you stopped at, you could get a souvenir. You could, you know, get a t-shirt or a sticker or every place you went usually because there wasn't so many maps, I believe, that they could do something like that. That every time that you would land, you could get a sticker or a souvenir or something or missions or whatever. I, I really miss that idea. I know it's silly to want bling, but we got hangers, right? The hangers are okay, but I would like to see a persistent hanger with them um, where you can display those things, right? So for every airport that you land at, you can get an, a sticker for it or something else, a sticker, a mug, a t-shirt, something with the airport logo on it. You remember how in the back in the old days they would show the old travel luggage and it had stickers from every place it had been and yeah, I kind of want the same thing. And I would love to be able to go into my hangar and look at all my stickers for all the places that I've been. All right, so we're heading to Denver, Texas on our way to get to Mexico. Do we miss the runway? <laughs> I'm, am I on the on another taxi side? I think I am. Uh oh, air traffic control is going to be majorly mad at me. Going to cut across the field here. The hell's the runway? Yeah, yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah, at least you're on the right one runway. flaps up adios Dalhart, Texas I'll kick back on the music here in a moment get ourselves up in the air I didn't check the procedures on this airport for turns we'll just go straight out Where are we heavy? Transporter, have a nice flight. Hmm, may the force be with you.
put a little nose trim in, keep a little bit of a climb. We're a fat cow, folks. A heavy, heavy fat cow right at the moment. Trying to make some money. As long as we have a positive rate of climb. And we'll check our heading here. All right, we're on the right heading. Just keep flying forward. All right, we have pretty good speed, so let me put it into a... Get altitude set here. Back up to at least 6,000. Okay, we're in the 6,000 range. Autopilot, flight level change. Now, double click now. There we go. 145 knots. Okay. All right. Let me turn all this back down again. Oh, it's nice and quiet again. We got our noise canceling headphones on. Okay. Now we can go back over to. Guy Vector, look at the terrain ahead of us for this stretch. We are at KDHT. KDHT. And we are going to E57, Denver, Texas. E57. And that. Clear all this out of here. Okay. And yeah, clear that. That's better. Okay, looking down on the map, looks like a little short hop, and we're not going to be really encroaching on anybody's airspace. Four thousand eight hundred feet. Gonna pass some wind uh, turbines over here. A grain elevator. 4,585 feet, passing Moser, Moser Waypoint. All right, here's somebody's airspace. Now, if we wanted to be cool, I mean, we, you don't have to, but you can always try something like that. And that would take me to... What is the waypoint? L-E-M-G-E -E. Alright, so let me go to the flight plan. The M G E. Sorry, go back to menu throughout this entire flight plan. Where's clear the flight plan? Delete flight plan. Okay. ADHD. We were on runway seventeen.
All right. I want the LEMGE. Wow, that was a big burst of turbulence right there. Uh, LEMGE. All right. with all the GPS messing around, but want to make sure that I can file this flight plan when we get bombs again. Oh, I see. Are you changing the weather? Is that what's doing it? You just did an emergency landing and your engine stopped. You don't know why. Wow. Let me turn off the separator. All right, we're making our way across Texas to Denver, Texas. And the goal is to get down to Mexico. Like Cabo Wabo or something. Let's go visit Sammy Hagar. I don't know if Sammy Hagar is going to make the best tacos, but he's been down there a while. Been living down there for a while. I'm sure he knows what a, a good taco is. Anybody knows what a good taco is, it's Sammy Hagar. Right? Had a complete reversal of thought there. Two forty nine here. Colorado. Situation. Nice. Nice and funky. Yeah, yeah.
but look who's coming up on our six. Yeah. Oh man, there's all these points over here. That was really groovy and kicked so much ass. Look at all these cool spots over here that are audio tour stuff. I'm going to go ahead and change our flight plan. Right? And I'm going to turn our heading directly east. I'm going to do a hard east eastern turn here. Thing will move on us. Come on, you bug. Move, 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 move. And I'm going to switch over to heading on my autopilot. And I'm now going to turn to the east. And I want to get some of these audio tours and see what's uh, they got going on over here near Amarillo. That may have been too sharp of a turn. Either way, we're going to get there. Change it a little bit. That vector, Victor. Oh, left it where it was. Hey, nay. Let's do core setting one two zero. Yeah. Okay, course setting one two zero has us shooting for this stuff over here. And actually, I'm go one. I have to break back it off a little bit. One fifteen, somewhere in there. I think that was one twenty. It's just a touch too sharp. Might make us come south of these. All right. All right. Well, we'll get some audio tour here in a minute. That last tune, Don't Cut Me Down, it was, I guess, written by Simon Frank Thomas. It says Simon Frank Thomas. That sure didn't sound like a Simon Frank Thomas, so I don't know who the singer was. Let's see if I can get any more information on that. No. Ah, uh, hell with it. All right, back to some music. Fifty-four minutes after the hour. Guy, dude, heading to Mexico. If you'd like to join in? Put your name in the chat. Let's get connected in Microsoft Flight Simulator. One to twenty. Soon to be twenty twenty-four. Let me need. There's those wind, the wind turbines that were on the map. Microsoft does such a good job with the matching the VFR, meaning that all the stuff on these maps. 
like these wind turbines that they're actually there. And back in the old days, that was super important. That stuff here, oh, <laughs> match what you saw out there, or you were lost. Nothing is better than the other Madonna. Yeah, the... All right, well, let's see what I am doing. Mm, it says that I am doing... 163 knots. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here at the moment until you tell me it's too fast or too slow again. I don't know what, what could be going on with simulator synchronization. The so 163 knots. Bouncy, bouncy here. You're messing with the time of day. So we can see the red lights. Yeah, those wind turbines at night look great. Mordor. The lights of Mordor. Yeah, but it went dark. <laughs> I didn't I didn't touch anything. Yeah, I don't have any control over that at all. Just a couple of degrees. One oh eight. And that should put us here on Cadillac Ranch. Cadillac Ranch and then Westgate Mall. 
Amarillo. Big Texan Steak Ranch. Wow. Rick Husband Amarillo International. Let me turn the music off. Getting our audible any second. Triggering it any second. And let me adjust a couple more degrees again. Cadillac Ranch is a public art installation and sculpture in Amarillo, Texas, USA. It was created in 1974 by Chip Lord, Hudson Marquez, and Doug Michels, who were a part of the art group Ant Farm. The installation consists of 10 Cadillacs buried nose first in the ground. Installed in 1974, the cars were either older running, used or junk cars, together spanning the successive generations of the car line, and the defining evolution of their tail fins. You There's put, been a long history you put of interaction back today? between folks from all walks of the world visiting the site daily. In August 2020, singer Rihanna took an art selfie at the Cadillac Ranch, alongside a message on a car showing disapproval for the now former U.S. President Donald Trump. Oh, of Not course. long after the locals quickly painted over Rihanna's message with their own pro-Trump messages. Ant Farm artists have encouraged public interaction with the cars as there's no shortage of visitors to the site daily. Oh, if visiting really... the Cadillac Ranch is in your future, yeah. the ranch is visible from both the highway and the skies, and even though it's located on private land, visiting Cadillac visible Ranch day and night and is sky. encouraged and a must-see for visitors. And while you there, we hope you don't forget your spray paint because this is a site that welcomes and encourages writing graffiti on the cars or even spray painting the vehicles with your own art. The vehicles themselves, which have long since lost their original colors, are wildly decorated. Come on down to Amarillo, Texas and visit the Cadillac Ranch today. So, we've missed it. It is... All right, yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to have to leave the group. Set it back to five. Somewhere over here.
Hard to tell. Well, I'm sure it's there. I don't know. To be able to make out the cars or not. Either way, that was very interesting. Learning about... Uh, Bringing your own spray paint and spray paint the cars. Well, you win some and you lose some, right? Let's just head on into Amarillo now and uh, get the next one. Ah, and there's a call from Chris. Hello. Um, no, no, not really, but most, but doing all right. No, honey, I'm still streaming. No, oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. Bye-bye. All right. Let's find out where we're at now. And Westgate Mall there we is go. an indoor shopping mall located in Amarillo, Texas, United States. It has over 100 mainline stores and four anchor stores, two Dillard's locations, J.C. Penney, and Bell's with one vacant anchor last occupied by Sears. The mall opened in October 1982 and Looks cost like a bunch $40 of small million to construct. It is located along Interstate 40. On December 28, 2018, it was announced that Sears would be closing as part of a plan to close 80 stores nationwide. The store closed in March 2019. The mall is partially in Potter County, Texas and partially in Randall County, Texas. The county line goes through the J.C. Penney store. County line goes through the J.C. Penney store, huh? Looks like a Kohl's. Yeah, that's Coles. But I wonder if... Look at the road looks like it's all destroyed there. Yeah, this is this is probably it. A long mall of stores here. There's an Office Max. The Ross. I don't know where the JC pit. All right, what's next? Now, the next one should be Amarillo itself. Okay, so we just need to go follow on the highway. Yeah, never been, uh, I don't think in memory I've ever been to Amarillo. Maybe through it, but I may have been a kid, you know, when I was in the back seat, somebody was driving, so may have driven through it, would I wouldn't have known. At least it's, it's green, uh, you know, when you first think of Texas, you're thinking, you know, good, the bad, and the ugly, and everything's going to be completely desert-like. This is actually very, uh... Very attractive. Nice. A lot of trees.
think we've got some tall buildings up ahead to the port side admiral All I can think of is a George Strait song. What do I know about Amarillo? Nothing. Amarillo by morning, you know. Amarillo is a city in the U.S. state of Texas and the seat of Potter County. It is the 14th most populous city in Texas and the largest city in the Texas Panhandle. A portion of the city extends into Randall County. The estimated population was 199,371 as of 2019. The Amarillo metropolitan area has an estimated population of 276,020 in four counties as of 2017. The metro population is projected to surpass 310,000 in 2020. Amarillo, originally named Oneida, is situated in the Llano Estacado region. The availability of the railroad and freight service provided by the Fort Worth and Denver City Railroad contributed to the city's growth as a cattle marketing center in the late 19th century. The city was once the self-proclaimed helium capital of the world for having one of the country's most productive helium fields. The city is also <laughs> known as the Yellow Rose of Texas and most recently wrote a city, USA for its V-22 Osprey hybrid aircraft assembly plant. Wow. Amarillo operates one of the largest meat packing areas in the United States. Pantex, the only nuclear weapons assembly and disassembly facility in the country, is also a major employer. Wow. The location of this facility also gave rise to the nickname Bomb City. The attractions Cadillac Ranch and Big Texan Steak Ranch are located adjacent to Interstate 40. U.S. Highway 66 also passed through the city. Fun fact. The popular video game Red Dead Redemption has a town named Armadillo that's a play on the real world city of Amarillo, Texas. I'll be darn. All right, Amarillo, that big steak place they were mentioning, that that's on the map next, directly ahead of us. Uh, well, if I turn and angle a little bit over there. Big steak ranch. Man, a lot going on here. Bomb stuff is kind of frightening. I know for the. Yeah. You better be able to get the the best barbecue ever out here if they're calling your place Big Steak, man. You guys better be master of the barbecue. We should land and grab a steak. Mm-mm. Isn't it? Hey, this place has just got a stink to high heaven. I mean, if you've ever driven by lots, you know what I'm talking about. It's just so stinky. The Big Texan Steak Ranch is a steakhouse restaurant and motel located in Amarillo, Texas, United States oh, it's just a restaurant. opened on the previous U.S. Route 66 in the 4,500 block of East Amarillo Boulevard in 1960. It relocated to its present location on Interstate 40 in 1970. 
Fire gutted the west wing of the restaurant in 1976 and destroyed $100,000 in antiques. The restaurant reopened as a larger facility in 1977. The building is painted a bright yellow, with blue trim. A large bull statue advertises their free 72 ounces steak the now-closed Texas Tornado Museum resided off in a far corner of the parking lot on the property. The 72 ounces steak challenge meal is shown in the movie Waking Up in Reno, with Billy Bob Thornton taking the challenge. It is also shown on the Travel Channel's Man V. Food, where host Adam Richman completes the challenge and in Anthony Bourdain, No Reservations, where Bourdain declines to compete but his cameraman takes part and fails. Huh. Well, I don't see any buildings around here that are bright yellow. But... We know it's here, and if we're ever in uh, need of wanting to do a giant 72-ounce steak challenge, we now know that we need to go to Amarillo, Texas. Man, 72 ounces. And I'm over here calculating, could I do it? Yeah, I probably could. All right. So let's get back on uh, track now. And get back uh, to get paid. Yeah, there's nothing really else around here. We need to turn back this way anyway. Happy State Bank Stadium. All right, well, let's uh, just get it back to flight level change and get back on nav. So unpause. Back on flight level change. Autopilot, put it back to net. Make sure we're going to Elite MGE. As you. Do to do, do, come on. All right, I'll do a vertical speed. And now that we're back on track and we're just going to be heading back to our destination, let me get back over to our music here. Two point eight miles to our Smoke if you got him.
24 minutes after the hour. Just heading to Mexico. We're, uh, actually, our next destination is Denver, Texas. Let's see if we can make it to Mexico by this afternoon. Not tomorrow. download any of the other world packs because you know I haven't covered all of America yet you know and explored all of America to start moving our operations over to Europe yet but I heard in one of the latest updates like Denmark forgive me if I'm wrong but I guess Denmark if it is Denmark then they have supplied the highest resolution maps ever for Microsoft Flight Simulator I guess the level of detail is insane compared to all the level of detail that we get for most places so anyway I, yeah i was watching somebody's video on the latest update and they're like it's crazy the level of detail that they've provided is insane and so if you're a fan of denmark you i guess you're gonna be really really happy so congratulations i can't wait till we all have you know well one i just need a better computer and better graphics in general but uh you know just one of these days and it's just a matter of time now, folks. I mean, look where we're at already. One of these days, they're going to have just stupid, stupid level of detail. And I hope I'm here to see it. I really am. I hope you're here to see it, too. I hope we all live long and prosper. Why did you start so late today? Normally you start at 10 a.m. and you're at 1, a, uh, 1 p.m. today. Well, my morning schedule has just been changing like mad and uh, been getting a lot of activity around the 10 o'clock, which is starting to conflict with everything. So I just decided, okay, well, let's just shoot for 1 p.m. as the new default time, at least for now. So, I'll try to be as consistent as I can now with 1 p.m. being the default time for the live streams. So I'm sorry if that messes you up as well, but that's the world, you know? We just have to roll with it. So, thanks for tuning in this late in the afternoon. Near the bottom of the hour. Cheers. Bottoms up. Remember to stay hydrated.
Paul Stanley. Ah, an Arroyo. Alright, so when we get a little bit closer, here is the ATIS on uh, 11975. I think we can get it out. Up with the music, fellas. And some five.
Oh, this guy's the um, autopilot. The auto co-pilot is on. He's messing with the radios. Well, let's turn him off. AI radio communications off. Okay. That we can get it though. We're pretty far away. So we are getting a readout. See about the winds there. Right now it says we have a 13 mile an hour. 12, 13. Well, we're bouncing. 8 to 13 in our face. So we are on course heading 225. Uh, no. Yeah, 225. So we would want to land on twenty six. Eight and twenty six or twenty two. This one's the longer one. 5,780 feet, 3,960 feet, so runway 22. Alrighty. That sure is pretty. <laughs> Congratulations! You finally got on the carrier. The carrier landing is so hard. I mean, the super hard. I gave up. I'll get back to it because it's something I've got to be able to, to master. No matter what. I'm, you know. So one of these days I gotta just be dogged about it and keep practicing it as well. It's super hard. One of these days, I will find the Zen. Oh, carrier landing. See some of those crazy Russians coming in? They come in really low, and then they pull up at the last minute and just kind of drop it onto the deck. Crazy. Well, you can't say this part of Texas isn't at least colorful. It might be kind of monochromatic, but very pretty. You actually hit the third wire. Again, congratulations hitting any wire. So we're going to Mexico for some uh, in the game here in role play. Going to Mexico to get some amazing Mexican food. I cooked some pretty darn good Mexican food for New Year's. I made tamales. If you've never had a tamale, you're missing out. 
They're so good. Somebody's like, I don't like Mexican food. And I'm like, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Do you like meat? Yes. Do you like pork? Yeah. What's not to like? Do you like ready dough? What? I Just shut up and eat it. I'm like, oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever eaten. Oh my god, you're such a pain in the butt. I don't like Mexican food. That's just saying, that's just basically saying you don't like food. You didn't put the Mexican on the front of it. It's just food. There's nothing foreign or weird about it. You like tacos? I've seen you eat a taco. Well, moss is basically the same stuff tacos are almost made out of. It's not corn, but it's very similar. You make tortillas out of them. You had a tortilla, right? You've had a burrito, right? I've seen you eat one of those. It's just a different type of one of those. I don't like Mexican food. Like, besides, a Mexican didn't cook it, I did. Come on now. Put it in your, put it in your eat hole. Oh, they were good. Getting ready to make another batch here in a couple of days. Still have a bunch of stuff left over. Material. Two minutes after the hour. There's Roswell. Roswell, Texas. I mean, New Mexico. There's the border. Yeah. But there's no Roswell, Texas. Switch over. What? What? The damn auto switch is not working? What is going on? Always something.
That's kind of cute. Some little circles that shows you the path that you've done. There's a blue light that keeps on shining. Hey, Mark, blue light special. And all these fabulous objects at a discounted price. Yes, there's a blue light keeps on shining. Shining on me in this town tonight. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I don't know that I'd be trying to do many slips with a plane like that. I mean, yeah, I suppose you could. I gotta find my home but man. I hope they work that out in the 2024 version. That the camera doesn't 
auto spin like that. That'd be nice. Getting us here, just making my way down towards Mexico. Mexico way. Seeking out some imaginary Mexican food. Any other kind of trouble we can get ourselves into? That looks like a Pac-Man ghost down there on the ground. Was. Get on our speed and fuel. We're pretty good. 62, 67 miles to our waypoint. Wow, twenty dollars for a Subway sandwich. Eighteen bucks. Should a Subway sandwich cost eighteen dollars and ninety-one cents plus tip? People are shocked at how much fast food is costing these days. These places are pricing themselves out of their own markets. It's crazy. It's getting stupid, man. The world is 
becoming very, very stupid. $20 for a Subway sandwich. Thank goodness for ILS. Yeah, it's tough landing those planes. Even with ILS. I haven't tried some of the other study level planes. I hear some of the more advanced study level planes have the full auto landing system. And that's nice. Just making our way slowly across Texas. Ever so slowly. the band
There sure are some pretty colors down there, though. So I don't think we're going to make Mexico today, folks. But we'll make it as far as Denver, Texas. All right. You have a great day, too. And this week, I'll just be doing the, uh, well, a um, couple of days anyway. Next couple of days, just continuing on cross country down south to Mexico way. We'll make some time to do some gliding and flying down in Mexico. And uh, we might as well try some more helicopter practice when we get there as well. Hopefully we come across more points of interest. It's been completely dead so far. On, on this trip everything's to the right of us or to the left of us nothing of interest was found sir doing scans to find anything near us to talk about nothing Eight miles. Oh, that's a horrible seat. Can't see anything with the frame right there. I don't know what those are, but we need some USB plugs back here. Orange whip, orange whip, orange whip, three orange whips, please.
Whip, whip. Three orange whips, will ya? Whip, whip, whip. I want an orange whip. Whip. Three orange whips. Yeah. Slowly making our way across Texas. Slowly. Getting there, though. Oops. Yeah, not too far now at all. I said I drove my car down to the river, babe. You lay last night. Your people were laughing, dancing, drinking. Oh, yeah, they're having a good time. Yeah, yeah they were. But I know from experience. Nothing good happened down at the river late at night. No, I don't. I want to tell you that. And so it happened. And I ain't been there too long. And so it happened, yeah. And I ain't been there too long. Seems like Mr. Harris, he had to go, had to go, had to go with Mr. Jones, yeah, with Mr. Jones, yeah. Fish were flying, blood was letting him by this pilot up down at the river late at night, don't you know? And it goes on. And the blue lights flash. When the police arrived on the scene. And the blue lights flash, baby. When the police arrived on the scene. Never seen such a mess. Seems like everyone suddenly had somewhere else to be. Somewhere else to be And since I was the last to arrive I was the first one taken into custody Yeah, I was South Coast out there Eighteen miles, huh? More of the story about going. 
There it is, Denver City. It's like something is buggy with our ATC. I haven't been able to get any sort of file the flight plan or contact the airport or nearest airport or anything like that. So, might just have to make a landing. How many miles is that today? Approximately from Cape Fly to here. Now we want uh, five seven. take a little bit because we did make some deviations due to Amarillo 367 miles today and yeah, that's so weird I don't know what is up with the comms See if we can get uh, it this way. Com channel is. There's no tower though. Unicom one two two eight. Time we met, she was named. 
In the airport. She was gone as if she had never been. She's driving me crazy. Ah, uh-huh, right there below us. All right. And the wind is still. All right. So I have no uh... So I have no air traffic control. So it's just I'm gonna just bring it in for a landing myself. No contact whatsoever. Hopefully Neofly registers it fine and we get paid. Beacon. That was the last time I ever really felt alive. She's driving me crazy. Can't get this woman out of my mind. One day it's good again. Next day she's gone. Coming in way steep. Probably go around again. Even with all the engine off, I'd have to pretty much dive. Oh, we can we can make this actually. I think. For landing in Denver, Texas. It's a good time to practice that slipping, grabbing, keep my noise noise pointed at the runway while using a whole lot of rudder. Still pretty fast, way fast. You greased that landing, Ace. 
Of that. Say so. Taxi to parking and shut down your engine. All right, well, welcome to Denver, Texas. Is that it over there? Can't tell. Yeah, I think that's it over there. Should have looked at the diagram a little bit better. Well, any one of these places will work, I suppose. For us to get paid. All right. So, crush fingers, and let's hope that we do get paid. Bring our conditioner down. Got to put on our landing lights for that. Such a chatterhead. Thinking about landing and not thinking about proper procedures again. All right, just waiting to hear. Waiting to hear now. Come on, pay us. Transporter. Yes. Cargo unloading in progress. Stand by, pilot. All right. So there's another twenty-three thousand. Do, 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 do. All right, we got paid. So tomorrow, transporter from dispatch. The cargo was picked up by the customer. Your mission is completed. Excellent, excellent. We can go ahead and turn off everything now. Start your engine. No, I think we're gonna stop here for the day, ma'am. All right. Do to do. All right, so back to the main menu. Let's just uh, <laughs> back out of here. So we'll pick it up tomorrow, my uh, fellow sim enthusiasts, and we will continue on our way to Mexico to go get in some trouble. Gastronomic, anyway. Uh, virtual gastronomic trouble. Whatever other trouble you can kind of imagine. So this was episode 91. We're no longer starting. I should have changed that first. We are ending. That's much better. Well, it should say ending. It shouldn't say ended. We're not officially ended. So I might have to modify that myself. I'm not good with all this stuff yet. As far as like stream elements and these kind of things. I didn't make that. I just downloaded that background. Go and modify it myself. Stream ending. I'm, I'm deciding if I'm going to end. But tomorrow, yeah, this will now reflect leg two and going to Mexico. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a little bit better planning as far as this is concerned as well. Try to get us some more sightseeing and stuff. It looks like there's a whole bunch if we go this way towards Houston. And then if we cut down through the coast here, we get a lot of sightseeing in here. We'll have to go check out the pyramids, see if we can find some pyramids in Mexico. I know that there's some near Mexico City. The big one, the uh Tijuanaco? Something like that. Well, we'll see if we can find some some pyramids or something. Yeah. All right. Now the stream is officially ending. Catch you tomorrow.